Sorry about that, guys. I just had to go and grab a pen. So now we can start doing these calculations for where everything needs to go. All right. So I'm just going to real quick put a 1 through 10 on this sheet of paper here. Oh, man. And then I believe we have four more after that down here. Six. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. A lot of connections. Okay, so starting at the top, number one is going to need to come out on the red. So I'm going to put a red there. And then number two is going to need to come down on the red as well. And from here, it should just be every other... Uh, ugh, words. <laughs> from here, it should be that every... Not every other one. Every pair um, does the same thing. They go 90 degrees on blue or on red, then red, then 90 degrees on blue and then blue and then red and then red and then blue, you know, that, you know, real simple stuff. <sighs> Unfortunately, I just realized since I didn't do it before, Ooh, excuse me. I, I enclosed all that stuff. I now have to remove, um, I now have to remove, uh, some blocks. Um, and also, I need to see if 6 even needs to rotate. Because um, if they go out on the red, they're coming out. And if they go on the blue, they're coming in. So, does this... So, 5 is going to be on the blue. So, it's going to be coming in. See, that doesn't... I just need to watch it in action. That's, that's all I need to do. So, this is the 6. So, our first one in this series is going to go 90 degrees on the blue. And this is going to go 90 degrees on the blue, and then it's going to go 90 on the red, and then 90 on the red. There we go. And then 90 on the blue, and I think 90 on the blue, but more than likely it's not going to do anything. Oh, we also need to change that from fast to slow. And we don't need to make it repeatable. So then we come over onto the other side, and should be right there. Uh, so, for our first up, we got to go 90 on the red, 90 on the red, 90 on the blue, 90 on the blue. See the patterns forming, 90 on the red, 90 on the red. And the only reason I know this is because I've done this now seven times, um, and every single time it's it's always worked out that the, the first steps in the series were crisscrossing like that 90 uh, so now we'll go slow and that should be good enough for our thing to work so one and it seems like it's working and it worked so yeah just like I said it's gonna go from the bottom to about halfway up so now we're ready to completely test oh no we're not I forgot, we need engines to drive these uh, tires, and this tire is still free spinning. Is this tire free spinning? Yeah, this tire is free spinning as well. Which means that we need to get it up on the lift to lower these tires. Really simple, really simple. All we have to do is place a block there, cut this out, put this back in, place. So, do the same thing over here. Place block here, cut this out. Put this in. Put a block in this place. And now, yep, it should want to turn and do all that fun junk. Uh, so now, I figure uh, right about here, yeah. More so onto the top than the bottom, and we'll cut off enough spaces to actually be able to get the engine in there. And we'll use gas engines. Might as well. Doesn't matter weight-wise which one we use. So... Oh, crap. So we need to get it situated like that, and we need to cut out a couple more blocks. Another two should do it. And then we'll have an engine there. We'll have an engine here. And will we be able to access both? I do not know. But first we need to set that to control them. 
There we go. And then we'll kick him up to four. Yeah. Shoot. There we go. Kick him up to four. Sorry for all the car noise in the background, you know. That's... Ugh. We live kind of on a major uh, area here. So, cue this here, cue that here, and then cue these. Because we do want to be able to um, still move while we're rotating backwards. And that needs to flip around so that our steering isn't backwards. And so now we should be able to drive this thing. And we should also be able to... Okay, so that's it like that. Now we need to turn the forks way down. So three is to go down and four is to go up. Forks are going down, down. We're going down, down in an earlier round. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Just joking. So the steering is kind of backwards as where we want the front to go. Can we get it down lower? Hmm. That might be unfortunate right there. Yep. That is unfortunate. Um, what if we were to lower and go forward at the same time? Nope. That's just going to kick it up. Okay. So let's egress <laughs> from here. Um, that goes that way. So we want to go this way. No, we do want to keep going left because we're going to need to reline up with it. Oh, so much thought goes into this. All right, so now we're going to come over here and we're going to add some more height. Well, we need to add it to both of these, unfortunately. So both of these have to go... All this work and effort we put into it. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Easy come, easy go, right? Um, you know what? We'll just make it three high. Just because. Just because I think that's the actual height of the uh, where the, the forks are um, when they're completely level. And it's nice not having to. Uh, drive underneath a load um, with unleveled forks because then you don't have to finagle the load onto the forks and uh, it's just easier it's just easier when things are level all right that's why the most important part of construction is leveling and plumbing and not plumbing as in the uh not plumbing as in the pipes, uh, but plumbing as in making sure everything's plumb, meaning vertically level. So, now that we have this built, we can go like that, get it four high. You know what, let's just make it yeah four high instead of five high, like I had it there. And then we'll take a butt ton of wood and we'll simulate a cord of wood um, being on the being on the warehouse floor mm, right about there one two three yeah that'll work we'll just make it four over here and then so we need to come four over the forks or over the uh, there are th that road is really busy right now <laughs> and that's kind of irritating like, come on, guys. I'm trying to record here. So inconsiderate. What a bunch of assholes. Anyway. And we'll go for another three high structure over here. And then for my next trick. <laughs> uh, shoot. Did we come over one too much? No. That was perfect, actually. So it needs to come over four. I think that's four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. 
All right, so now we just delete these. Then we can delete that. And one thing we do have to do is we have to set up like, we have to test this. We have to make sure that, you know, the load still stays on the forks. Uh, we also have to make sure that, uh, we also have to make sure that uh, we are in fact, you know what? We'll just make a, a loading area here. So we know they're all eight tall. So, or eight long. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Right there, that should be perfect. So they should all sit well on here. And in order to actually get them on here, that means that now we have to make sure that the load comes on. We can't do this lazy-like. We, ha we have to make sure that uh, we do it correctly. Otherwise, it's not gonna it's not gonna sit right on here because we do have it. I think like six wide now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that's not gonna work at all. Uh, if something is eight blocks wide, um, you can't have something set up to catch it. That's nine blocks wide. <laughs> yeah. So that'll that'll be perfect. We have to get that on that perfectly. If uh if we want to have a successful test. So for our first one, we need the tines to be out and we need to make sure that we do this perfectly in line with, mm, we'll slow it down a bit here. Yeah, we need to kick it over just a skosh. Ho 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 ho! Nailed it. So it's gonna catch there. So let's just lower it a bit so we can get more on here. So that'll basically catch it. So all we have to do is bring this up and back. And now here's the, that's level, right? That's a little bit past level. That's level. Now here's the test. Ooh. Yeah, that's not so good actually. We might need to grab the loads with a three and then kick them into a five afterwards. But it's not going so fast that it's dumping the load, which is good, because when I first started trying this, uh, the forklift was just knocking the load completely off because there was just too much momentum behind it. Um, so now we're gonna do an elaborate turning maneuver here, which will hopefully, 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 bring us into line with uh, that over there and allow us to I know how I said that the steering was correct, but I got the steering wrong again. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. So let's just kick it this way. Whole bunch and then kick it this way. And we could pretty much... And you know what? I also got the sizings wrong because this is definitely not... <laughs> it's only eight blocks wide, so that other uh, thing we had going on would have worked. So now let's test the tines and see if uh, they'll stay level while we have the load on. And it doesn't tip. Sweet. So let's kick ourselves left here. Left a lot and then right a lot. And I think from this angle it looks like we're almost on there perfectly. So let's go ahead and drop the forks. And there's a little bit of a kickback there. Um, let's see, we've got like four on that side. And now we have three on that side, and oh, it's not going to be level, whatever we do. So let's just kick the forks down, lower the load on there. And I think, 
Yep, successfully on there. All right. Ooh, this will be our second test right here. Is this uh, smaller uh, cordage? Uh, now that one will be three plus four plus four, eleven blocks wide. Still don't need the <laughs> the full um, platform. They'll be, they'll be overhang, but it'll only overhang one or two now, which is good. All right, let's see about getting us into so all we've got to do is back up straight and then come forward and kind of turn as we're coming in mm. come on without snapping these forks off yeah if we keep doing that we're gonna snap them off so we'll do it the right way and come in completely straight. Um, we're almost in line. We're almost in line. We're almost in line. Do, 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 do. Almost perfect. Why does that look unbalanced as all get out? Because it is. <laughs> Nailed it. Now let's see what it does as it's widening its grip. It looks like it keeps the load pretty much in the same position on the forks as it was. Um, let's go ahead and give this a look-see. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be quite difficult to uh, maneuver, I think. But I think we can get it on there. And I think this will be a successful test and a successful vehicle. Which is awesome. Because then that means it's on to bigger and better things. Um, next episode, I believe, we're going to be making uh, what we already made on stream. Speaking of which, this has already been on, on, done on stream, minus the forks moving it left and right um, before. And there's a good chance that you guys are going to catch uh, videos before they happen. Um, I know, it's videoception over on the, the live streams, because that's where I'll be working out all the mechanics, and, you know, basically seeing if I can improve something, because I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and improve someone's design if I don't know I can do it. Um, well, I'm not going to record me trying to improve someone's design if, uh, yeah, words. I'm a wordsmith, in case you didn't know. Hmm... I'm going to want to see why that's happening under load, but uh, I'm not too, too, uh, too, too. <laughs> Ooh. That is going to be weird. So let's start kicking it forward now. And who knows? It might just slide right off the forks into place. Here's hoping. No. <laughs> it's not, in fact, going to do that. Dang. Well, one can only dream, right? Unless that's it sliding into place. We need to make sure it goes into the right spot now. Let's get these leveled up and lined up. That's almost perfectly lined up, too. Nice. We'll just drop it the rest of the way. Get in there a little bit more. Or we can... Nope. Can't line it up anymore. We just gotta drop the weight and ride off into the sunset. You know, I think we actually got them lined up pretty well. Um, so we just go ahead and raise up the, the forks and use them to kind of, you know, smush them together a bit. Because <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? I know you wouldn't normally you wouldn't use forks for this because anything you're using forks for is like 
already packaged and probably has plywood or cardboard on the sides and you, you can't get a good purchase on plywood or cardboard the forks would just go right through uh, so we're just gonna sidle right up to these and push them together a bit just a skosh there we go two successful tests uh, yeah that might bug me a bit, but not not a whole bunch. I mean, they they were put pretty close to, to... Oh, yeah. So we were off by like a whole block. Dang. Well. They got a tool for that. Oh, darn. Well. <laughs> oh, if we had the crane I made yesterday, we would be able to just pick that up and put it right back in its place. <laughs> Oh, man. So, uh, we're going to take another of, uh, I believe it's Zissium made. Uh, no, 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 it wasn't Zissium. Someone was showcasing a crane. I will get the uh, link for that video for tomorrow. Um, but also, the link for the video I'm referring to of Zissium's where we're improving upon his design, I'll link that in the description as well and on the screen, probably to my left, in the left lower quadrant, uh, now actually <laughs> so if you guys want to see the original and you know see it's i'm not going to beautify this i'm not going to make it look like a forklift it is a forklift it's just a strange forklift better i mean it's never going to be 100 percent perfect because we're using square blocks against square blocks and they're always going to need to kind of abdicate out to get it working so <laughs> again my name is will h wilcher i don't do intros or outros uh you guys have yourselves a fine day oh and if you got some extra time go ahead and leave a comment below why you uh, liked or disliked the video including the uh, ending rambling bit <laughs> bye <laughs>